Hey everyone, Steve Harris here with Muse Themes. This is the final video in our series on setting up hosting accounts, linking domains, and uploading files from Muse. In this final video, let's take a look at how we can export the HTML and the files that we've built in Muse and upload those manually using third-party software. Now you probably only wanna do this if you've worked on the web for a little while and you're comfortable kind of using these third-party programs to upload files, but let me show you how it works. So let's say you've gone ahead and you finished your website design in Muse, and now you want to actually export this onto your local drive. We can go up to File and click Export as HTML. It's going to ask you for your domain name. So for this site, let's just put in museexperts.com and it wants you to provide a location. So I'm gonna just output this to a location. Um, I'll go ahead and create a new folder here and I will call it HTML and I'm just gonna export there. So once we've done that, we hit OK. Muse goes ahead and generates all of the assets and all of the pages and everything you need to upload these with an FTP program. So let's go ahead and look at where that is on the computer. We'll go to HTML and you can see in this folder, I'll go to a list view here, that we have a couple of HTML files. We have an images folder, a CSS folder. So everything that you need to upload this to a hosting server. One th important thing to note is you must have a file called index.html. If for some reason you don't have that, you may have changed the page name or something in Muse, you'll need this for a browser to find your website. And I'll explain more a little bit later on. So once we've got all of this HTML generated, let's go ahead and open up third-party FTP software. I like to use something called FileZilla. So if a client has provided you with FTP login details, you can open up a program like FileZilla, enter those details in, and then you can start looking at and working with the folders on that hosting server, rather than just publishing up in Muse where you really don't have any control over things. So let's go ahead and we can actually connect to the business catalyst host that we've set up directly using FileZilla. And Adobe BC has published up some instructions on how to do it, um, but it's just a matter of entering in the information correctly. So let me jump to the web here and I'll show you how it's done. So it says right here how we do it. We need to log in using the host name is your domain name. Okay, so let's go back to FileZilla and put in our domain. So it was museexperts.com. We also need to enter the username. So it says the username here is your domain name.com slash your email or the login that you use for the back end of the domain. So most of the time this is going to be your Adobe ID. So let's go ahead and put that in our domain, which in this case is museexperts.com slash the email that we've used. So in mine, this is info at visualarms.com. Okay. The next step is we have to put in our password, which is no problem. So let's just put that in. Okay. There you go. The last thing that we need to do that's really important here is Business Catalyst uses something called SFTP, which is just a little bit more secure than regular FTP. So now you'll notice if we click the Quick Connect button, it tries to connect, but it's not working. And the reason for this is because we need to include that SFTP on our host address here. And if you actually hold your mouse over this box, we do get a tooltip that says supported protocols are, and it lists them below. So as I said before, Business Catalyst uses SFTP. So it says here we need to put SFTP colon slash slash in front of the host. So let's go ahead and do that. SFTP colon slash slash and the login info. So once we do that, it says unknown host key, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we wanna trust this host. And now that we've done that, you can see that it connects to our Business Catalyst server. So this listing on the right side here shows all of those folders, CSS, images, style sheets, that sort of thing that Muse automatically uploaded for us. So the cool thing about being able to actually log into this server and manipulate files and that sort of thing is that if we wanted to create an alternate version of this site and just stage it somewhere that people wouldn't really see, what we could do is you could create a new directory and let's just call this test site just like that. Okay. Now if we double click into the test site folder and we went ahead and we took all of these files that we had from Muse and we just 
dragged and dropped them in that folder. Watch what happens. FileZilla is going to go ahead and upload those files. This is really similar to just working in your Finder window or Explorer window. Okay, so FileZilla has successfully uploaded the entire site to this folder called Test Site. Now let me go on the web and show you what this means. So we've got MuseExperts.com here, but if we put a slash and we go Test Site like that, and we just hit Enter, you can see that it loads the website again from scratch as if it's the home page. And so what this means is you could upload a totally different site to this folder and have it just kind of live on this little link. The reason that you can directly link to just slash test site is because we have that index.html file in the folder. If we didn't have this, so let's say for example, we called this about. I'll rename it on the server temporarily and let's try and hit this site. You can see it can't find it because if you're not going to include a direct link to an HTML file like this, about.html, just like that, it's going to look for an index file living in the folder. So if you go to just museexperts.com slash test site, it's really going to look for this automatically. And that's now not found because I renamed it. So I'll go ahead and just change that back. I'll call it index.html again. And once I go back on the web, this link will now work perfectly. We have an error here that says some files may be missing or incorrect. This is just because I cut the upload short because it was taking too long. However, you can manually upload your website to Business Catalyst or any other third-party host using FileZilla. And again, if you're comfortable working on hosting servers, this is a great option to have more control over the folder structure of your site. Now, because the connection process through FileZilla, the, you know, the process of entering your host name and your username and then manipulating folders can be really intimidating, I'd recommend that if you're not comfortable with it, you just stay with publishing directly from Muse. There's really no difference. It's just a little bit of a simplified interface by just clicking this publish via FTP host. You're really entering all the same information in. The only benefit is you're not having to manually move folders and drag and drop files and that sort of thing. So I hope this video series has really helped you understand how hosting and domain setup works and how you have a variety of options when you're using Muse. You're not locked into one host. You can use anybody out there and you can register a domain with anyone else. You can also apply your existing clients' domains to Business Catalyst or any host. It's all flexible. The key is just to remember that once you've done it one time or figured it out one time for one client site, chances are all the rest are going to be the same. I hope this series has been really helpful. And if you have any questions about it, please send us a note at support at musethemes.com. Thanks again.